Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is get your hands on a copy of City of Heroes Issue 24 Beta. If you do not have that, then this video is for you. If you already have that, then you can skip this part as it's not going to really be much of a benefit. If you have a partial copy of City of Heroes or you have a broken copy of City of Heroes, this video is also for you because um, the programs we're going to be using to obtain them will actually look at the installations you have if you've got one and it will download and fix whatever files are broken. So the first thing you're going to do is go to savecoh.com up there and <clears throat> you can read up on all this and then when you're done doing that what you're interested in is this download issue 24 beta so click on that and we're going to skip down to this patcher section if you're on a PC you want to get tequila and if you're on a Mac you want to get island rum now I don't have a Mac I don't own a Mac I've never used island rum before so I don't know if these instructions will be applicable to you or not I'm assuming they do basically the same thing if not, there's probably another page, if you click on Island Rum, that has information about what you need to do to get it and whatnot. But we're not going to go there. We're going to go to Tequila, and that brings us to this page, which gives you information on how to download and install Tequila. Um, so here is the download link right here. I'm going to click on that, and it saves it to my Downloads folder. So I'm going to go to my Downloads folder, and there is Tequila. Now the important thing about this is you need to put this in a directory that you have full permissions to. On top of that, I highly recommend you put this in a directory someplace that it is safe, because this will take a while to download. And once you've got a clean copy, you want to hold on to that clean copy and then use it as a backup in case you corrupt the copy that you use on a daily basis. So in my case I have an external hard drive. I'm going to put this on. Um, a thumb drive is a good idea or maybe an SD card if your computer has an SD card slot. Um, worst case scenario you could always burn the whole thing to a DVD once it's done. I believe it will fit. Um, so once you've got the file here you're going to double click on it and it's you're gonna run and now it's going to ask you where you want to put your installation in my case I'm gonna put it right here in this same folder so I'm gonna click OK and now it's going to start downloading all of the files for City of Heroes uh, issue 24 beta um, so this was going to take a while even on a high-speed connection, we're talking about close to four gigabytes, if not more. Um, it would be a good time to go grab a cup of coffee or something while this downloads. And I'm going to pause the video and I will be back when this is done downloading. Okay, and I'm back. This is almost done and now it is done. <clears throat> so that was pretty painless. It only took maybe, I don't know, close to five to ten minutes to download all that. So now that your program has downloaded, you have the option to press play. Not sure what screenshots does. You have options here that you can change. Um, basically just leave those alone for now. And you can pick between launching either Titan Icon or Paragon Chat. Um, so this will now be in your City of Heroes directory where you downloaded it to. Um, Tequila will be there. You can create a shortcut on your desktop to it if you want to, which will basically just... Um, Let's see, let's just go ahead and do it, show you. Uh, go there, you can create 
send to send to desktop. Create shortcut. All right, so you got a shortcut. Um, I'm just going to uncheck that. It will run. It basically <clears throat> just validates everything for you when you run it. Um, which this is kind of a slow way of doing this, but this is a good example of if you have a directory that's corrupted, you can always paste um, the tequila.exe into that directory. Um, it will usually know that that's where it is. Um, like it will know it's in a state of heroes directory and then it will download any corrupted and missing files right now. It's just validating that they're all um, up to date and not broken. And by up to date, I mean as up to date as this can get for a beta version of issue 24 on a game that was abandoned three years ago. So <laughs> I use the word up to date loosely. And we wait for it to do this. Um, so just while we're waiting, I have launched Tequila before. Um, the several times I've tried making these first tutorials. Uh, a couple times when I launched it, instead of actually going out and downloading it like I thought it would, it actually just opened up the progress bar, hit the end, and then I was able to either select the Paragon Chat or the Titan icon and then press play, which is what I was expecting it to do right now as opposed to checking and validating everything. I'm not really sure why it's doing this now or what the difference would be, but that would be something for you to go find out should you choose to want to use Tequila to launch your Paragon Chat or your Titan icon. For the purposes of this tutorial, though, we're not going to be doing it this way anyway. So this is just more of like an FYI type of thing. It says it's done. So you can either launch Titan Icon or Paragon Chat through this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and we're going to start and move on to part two, which is configuring City of Heroes so that you can start capturing stuff out of it once you have everything set up.